Meanwhile, the coronavirus pandemic has put some businesses beyond the point of no return, causing businesses to close and cut their employees across the twin tiers. Joining us live over the phone right now is Matthew Burr, a human resources consultant at Burr Consulting. Good evening, Matthew. Good evening. So we have seen closures of places such as JCPenney's, Denny's. Can you explain to us what the point of no return is and, you know, if it's possible for some of these larger companies to come back reimagined? Yeah, well, I mean, I think JCPenney's going to try to do some reorg and bankruptcy and keep some stores open. But, you know, hopefully we don't see more stores going down the bankruptcy route. But they've got uh, bills to pay and mortgages and rent. So we're probably getting to the point where even with the, the PPP loans, they're running out of money at this point. So it is getting to a point where you've got to open up pretty quick. Right. And Corning Incorporated announced yesterday that they needed to compress local jobs. What do you think these workers should expect in the future? Uh, you know, hopefully Corning can ramp back up once we are kind of through the phases of reopening. But, um, you know, you could see some, uh, you know, maybe some more autom automation or some type of early retirement packages potentially. Um, yeah, but hopefully we get everyone back to full employment at Corning Inc. It's a major employer in the area. Right. And my last question for you, some companies such as Twitter are saying employees who are working from home can continue to work from home even after the pandemic. How do you feel about this? Do you think more companies should follow in their footsteps? Um, you know, I think we we need to give, uh, you know, employees the option if remote work is uh, possible. And I think that, again, it's going to be a part of uh, society now with accommodating workers and things like that. So, yeah, if there's an option, I think we do need to have that conversation. I, I've heard other people really don't like working from home either. Right. So it's going to be a personal choice. Okay. Well, as always, thank you so much, Matthew. Yep. Thank you.